Richard, you've called this the anti-boredom guide. Now, what's the general purpose of it? Well, the purpose of the guide, um, Geoffrey, is to try and alleviate the uh, frustration and boredom of passengers. We tend to be encased in our little tin boxes and uh, travel down the motorways without really realising just what interesting things there are to be seen. This, I, we must stress, is for passengers, not drivers. Oh yes, and one must say that it's really designed for passengers while the driver concentrates fully on the road. But the M5, I think, is probably the most interesting motorway in the country with a whole host of interesting things that one can see from the back country down to Exeter. Interesting thing, of course, the situation we've got at the moment is, is contraflow and roadworks, uh, the sort of thing which can be very irritating for drivers, can't it? Too true, but I think that's really when the book comes into play and very often, of course, we're, we're stopped on the motorway for some little time and it gives the passengers the chance to say, well, what's that church over there? Or what's the cathedral? Or why is that particular mound there? Or what's the village over there? And so on. Battle sites, castles, they're all on the M5. Well, as we approach the Droitwich turn, Richard, uh, our own BBC masts are of some interest, aren't they? Yes, these are the Droitwich masts, which have been, uh, there have been masts on this site since the early 1930s. And it was an ancient site in any case where there was in fact uh, a manor on this site and uh, in fact the site was mentioned in the Doomsday Book. Uh, the main masts are about 700 feet high and uh, there are reserve masts as well. And there is uh, a lift that takes the engineers to the top as and when required and no doubt there's a superb view of the M5 motorway from the top. There's a mound of earth here, looks like a large anthill surmounted by a tree. But in fact it's an old British camp and it was taken over by the Celts and then the Romans also used it. No doubt it was very strategic um, looking down on Worcester and uh, in fact Roman coins have been found on this site. In the background of course, further on, we have been seeing for a few miles now the Malvern Hills. Yes, the Morven Hills are with us for some little time and of course we've got the, the high points. It looks like a very serrated edge from this distance but of course it does afford very good walking area. Breed, Breeden Hill. Yes, we've got Breeden Hill away to the east. It rather resembles a whale coming out of the, uh, a green sea and of course the hill was made famous by A. Houseman with his poem, Summertime on Breeden. And if we look carefully, you can see that it's surmounted by a small tower. This was to satisfy the ego of the locals and especially Mr. Parsons of Kemerton, who built the tower to take the height above the 1,000 feet level. We're now coming up to uh, Breeden Village and this was known to the poet John Macefield who um, wrote all the lands from Ludlow Town to Breeden Spire and a fine spire it is, it rises about 160 feet above the Avon Vale and close by we can see a very large barn. This is the famous Breeden Tithe Barn which unfortunately was set on fire by an arsonist a few years ago. Tewkesbury Abbey is probably the uh, finest Norman work we can see in the country. And it's rather fortuitous that it escaped from the clutches of Henry VIII when he was doing his work of destruction of abbeys and monasteries throughout the land. Now we're about to leave the motorway where we're concerned at Gloucester. You really feel as if you are getting into the West Country now, don't you? That's right. Gloucester, with its, again, with its splendid cathedral. Uh, and, of course, it was the first uh, 
cathedral built in the perpendicular style in England and was the model for many other cathedrals built since. A 51 mile M5 trip from the link with the M6 down to the Gloucester turn and continuing through the pages of the book on to Junction 31, a total distance of 167 miles, a guide designed to take the passenger boredom out of motorway driving.